Here we have verse 15 of the first chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, who is continuing to work through the genealogy, nearing the end of it here as we reach this verse. Uh, Eliud is mentioned, De Agenesen, was the father of Ton Eleazar. Of course, Eleazar is a well-known name in the Old Testament. This is not necessarily the one that's best known, but uh, nevertheless the uh, reuse of a name, of course, would not be uncommon in a, a family line. So uh, we have Eleazar, the son of uh, Eliud, Eleazar de Genesan was the father of Ton Matan, uh, and uh, finally Matan de Genesan Ton Yakub is the father of Yakob. Uh, this uh, presents an interesting little uh, uh, difficulty in the uh, genealogical record. Of course, we have two different records, one from uh, Luke and one from Matthew. <coughs> Matthew uh, and Luke diverge at points and uh, actually reunite at points. It uh, seems to be the case that Luke is tracing the genealogy going back to Zerubbabel through a younger son, uh, while Matthew seems to be pursuing uh, the genealogy from an older son of uh, Zerubbabel. But as it turns out, the older line from Zerubbabel uh, runs out, fails, and uh, so the younger branch uh, actually becomes the uh, genealogical record to be pursued, and it seems that Matthew, who had followed the older line, switches now to the younger line, which would be uh, the uh, name that's uh, found before us here. Uh, not too surprising, of course, that kind of uh, adjustment is made in genealogical records in the Old Testament, a brother raising up seed, as it were, from the deceased brother, and that seems to be what's going on here. It's a rather uh, technical little point that's been investigated by some, but that does seem to be the best evidence as to how we account for the divergence at points along the way.